Got him, right there. We'll take them like that all day long. The cameras, batteries, holes punched. Should be good to go. What is going on guys? We are back with another video today. It is a super cold, super windy day out and uh, we finally just got set up. I spared you guys watching me set the shack up on a brutally windy, chilly afternoon here. Oh, we probably just lost you guys. We got the other camera going though. And let me tell you, it is officially winter now. We'll turn this off, there's no doubt about that. But what is going on guys? Today we are back with another video. Just came back from the St. Paul Ice Show. Got back late last night from that. It was amazing talking to a whole bunch of you guys. Um, yeah, it's kind of surreal sometimes when I go talk to a lot of people that I'm as lucky as I am to get to do what I ha get to do every single day. And uh, you guys are largely to thank for that. You guys watching the videos, following the videos, all that kind of stuff going on. And I greatly appreciate it. And uh, today we're out fishing back up north. Drove kind of late last night. Got up at about 2 this morning. And... Um, we already got a little perch on here. Look at this. Just ridiculous. <laughs> we'll catch this little perch. Oh, good. He came off. But, uh, yeah, got up super early this morning. Came out, checked a whole bunch of ice on a lake I have not been to yet this winter. And we're back with a video. Fishing a large, shallow flat. Um, kind of going to film a long segment for the Walleye Now app today. We just got perch tormenting us right now. Going to film a long segment for the Walleye Now app about where and how you can target big walleyes and a lot of walleyes in this early ice time frame on a lot of these big shallow flats because a lot of times they're rather intimidating video does a phenomenal job of kind of going into um what those sweet spots look like and all that kind of stuff we might as well just catch this perch and get it over with huh right off the bat here he's gonna be a little guy but um that video can be found on the walleye now app just simply click on let's go fishing at the bottom of the page um, click on ice and you guys will see it right there under location but had a lot of questions on where you set up to catch shallow water walleyes and um that's what we're gonna do today so um that video is available there but like I said, first fish of the day, very average size perch. So um, we're hoping we're catching some walleyes up here and uh, we'll kind of give it the sit through the midday period and into that evening and hopefully jig some fish. Looks like we're sitting about eight, nine feet of water. So stay tuned, let's get it going on. Let's catch some walleyes out here on some early ice in some shallow water. There he ate it, right there, right there. Number one, it has not been long at all. Oh yeah, he's definitely on. Simple, pretty simple to do, open up the bale. Make sure your drag is tight enough to catch a fish on. See him still just sitting there. Got him, right there, fish on. Feeling nice, feeling nice. All right, number one. What do we got? Oh yeah, nice walleye. Nice walleye to get things going. Look at that guy, man. That is what we are after right there. He got kind of banged around in the live pool for a second. <laughs> but there we go. Walleye number one is on the ice. You kind of see I had one, I don't know if I put it in the video or not, but I had one kind of shoot up about the same time, get around the jig. Uh, just did not end up eating it, but obviously having that dead stick there, especially midday like this, a lot of times greatly beneficial. There we go. Look at that guy right there. Probably got a crazy glare from sun coming in. I don't know what's better. Light, no light, window, definitely not the flashing light. I'll tell you what, we can catch a whole bunch of these 16, 17, 18 inches today. That is what we're after right there. So let's let that guy go into it over and over and over fishing super clear water today about nine feet of water but uh yeah there we go feels good number one done
Got him right there. Fish on. Oh, nice perch. Nice perch. Just let that first while I go. Staring at some smaller perch on the graph. And there's a decent one. As I'm eating my lunch and or dinner here. Yeah, and this lake's definitely got some nice perch in. It's not really a real big one, but the graphs has a lot of time. It has just a lot of perch on it, as you can see right now. Uh, but most of them that are small, like that you, you guys can see down there right now, they don't really engage with the bait very much. A lot of times those nicer perch will just fly right up and bite like that. Got him right there. What do we got here? Feels nice, feels nice. I'm guessing walleye? Guessing nice walleye? Or is it a pike? What do we got here? Oh, it is a piker. Dang it, it is the pike. You guys can always, you can always tell if, if predators about to come in when all those perch leave the graph. A lot of times when you're fishing these shallow flats, you get a lot of bait around, and then out of nowhere, the predator shows up. There we go. Fishing the brand new Acme Castmaster spoons today, and have not been fishing for very long. Perch, pike, walleye. I've been fishing for 22 minutes so far. And there we go. Nice little piker. They're all fun on the jig rod. We'll let him go, and hopefully get back to the walleye stuff. But Castmaster Spoon, you guys know I've been using it just for an eternity on the ice. This is a brand new kind of rattle chamber, which is unbelievably loud. A lot louder than it used to be, and it comes in a ton of new kind of custom colors. So I'll go ahead and link it down below for anybody looking to pick some up. But so far on this ice season, we're not very far into it. And this purple, really any of the purple colors, seem to be my go-to. Got him right there. Fish on. Fish on. What do we got? Oh yeah, another nice walleye here. Another nice walleye. There we go. <laughs> oh man, are we having some fun now? These are the exact fish we were hoping for. We'll definitely get some sizable ones today, I believe. As long as they're still here since late fall. But you know, for hardly fishing at all, any time amount of time so far, a couple nice walleyes. Could definitely mop up on some smaller perch down there if we wanted to but one nice perch and some pike how are you gonna beat it jigging shallow water and uh this is just one of the best patterns you can be fishing this time of year the shallow water big flats um, breaking them down getting on some nice fish that are roaming some of these kind of shallow water sweet spots and uh like i said in the intro we kind of did an awesome breakdown of these spots on the walleye now app kind of showing you guys a lot of what i look for on the graph um, how I break a big spot down on GPS and where those little sweet spots are where you can sit in the shack on these big shallow water flats and jig fish all day long. Look at that. Beautiful walleye. Let's let them go. If you're going to keep them, that'd be a good one, but I think we'll just slide them right back, right back home. There we go. Well, you can kind of tell that fish, I think he shot up once, went back down and then shot up again. And uh, I can almost just like sit here, sending emails or messing around on my phone a second to perch leave. Then I'm like, oh, here we go. Time to jig seriously. Come on, eat it. Eat it. Got him right there. Fish. Oh, just literally let that last walleye go. Feeling like, oh yeah, another nice one. <laughs> there we go, dude. Well, for the middle of the day, we are getting it done. No bait for all you guys asking. No bait really on. The rattle master. Key is just kind of keep it pounding there, keep it moving, never really go to a full stop on it. And that purple is absolutely on fire. Actually, everywhere I've been, they hear that. 
New rattle and cast master, and that's the eighth ounce size. It's just been catching fish. Man, are we just on some perfect eaters if you're going to keep some. 16, 17, 18 inch walleyes. Middle of the day, nowhere near prime time, up shallow. Six, seven, eight feet of water. How are you going to beat it? It's too good, isn't it? We'll see if we can get a release shot quick. See you later, buddy. Oh, there he goes. Back to his little home. Oh, that's nice. How are you going to beat it? And we'll send her back down. Do it again. Got him, right there. Oh, he finally ate it. This is definitely feeling like a much nicer fish. Are we rolling on the chesty? Okay. This is gonna be a, oh yes, nice walleye, nice walleye. Look at that one, dude. He just came right up the hole too. Oh. <laughs> dude, look at that, look at that. That is definitely a little bit nicer fish there. He kind of came in and just hung around and hung around and hung around and then bit. But we'll take him because he's hooked pretty good here. We'll get him popped off real quick. And that is what we're after right there. Definitely a little bit nicer quality of fish. We'll take him like that all day long. We are nowhere near prime time yet. We probably still got a solid hour and a half to go, I'd, I'd say. But uh, there's a couple nice walleyes. We've caught, what, is this the fourth or fifth one now? Something like that. We are on some fish on first ice up shallow here. Super cool way to fish. All right, quick thumbnail picture, and back he goes. Hopefully you guys are enjoying watching this Humminbird Mega Live content. Hopefully it adds a nice feature to the video. Oh yeah, nice and angry. I don't know if you guys can see this, but you can literally look down. I don't know you guys are gonna be able to see. You can just see straight to the bottom. A lot of people think when you see straight to the bottom, there's no daytime walleye bite, but on a lot of these shallow water sweet spots, there will be fish here, and they can bite during the middle of the day. So far, every fish, same bait, that same Rattlemaster uh, by Acme in the eighth ounce. Purple, purple, always the go-to. Um, and a lot of these really clear water situations, it seems, and today is no exception. Well, I don't know how much you guys could tell, but this wind is absolutely insane. Easily 35 miles an hour, which is kind of hindering me to go into the, the kind of last light spot I wanted to where I got a really shallow piece of structure so with that being said we kind of drove there shuffled around and, and now we're just kind of set up kind of close to where we were for most of the day um, which is not ideal but early ice you kind of got to take what you get and tomorrow's supposed to be much better weather so hopefully we can get to some of that stuff tomorrow but we're kind of just creeping into that window now where hopefully things start to pick up a little bit well, it has been a good day regardless already. We've definitely caught some nice fish. Have not been out here for most of the day. And uh, some walleyes have already showed themselves. So if we can bang a few more right at dark, that is a success. Got him right there. About time. Oh, he got... A whole bunch of different species today. I knew that was something weird when he came in like that and just didn't fight at all. The old Thule up in some shallow water. Everything up in the weeds. Some people will smoke these suckers. It's probably really shiny from that side, huh? We're just kind of getting to that time of day. We're letting them go. Anytime somebody's like, oh, you know, they're really good smoke. That's just generally like the first sign that they're probably not that good to eat. But if you tell me they are, I'll believe believe you in the comments section. But there we go. Went through a little dry spell there. And uh, there's our first fish coming out of it. But we're hoping the next few fish are a little bit more golden colored. Well, I realize our mic, one of our mics died there for a second. But as you guys could see, lost a nice fish. Seeing a lot of fish shooting up the graph on the live. Not eating. And if you watch the interaction on that one, it like came in three, four times. And then I kept pulling it away from him. Finally, the time I didn't do anything, just let him just slowly come up and eat it. He finally bit it. So for whatever reason, in this front, 
this big windy whatever high pressure deal we got going on they definitely don't seem to be very active even for this time of day here's another one right now you guys see that it just shoot up shoot down it's like they just don't want it I don't know why that is but it seems like that's how this evening's going good news is we're seeing a lot of fish just not getting them all to bite Got that one. All right. <laughs> well, after marking just an absolute, oh yeah, another nice one. After marking just an absolute mountain of fish, I had two fish eat the dead stick and drop it. Not a big one here. The other ones we were marking were definitely bigger. You could kind of tell this one was a little smaller on the live, but feels good to crack one here at the prime time hour. Not a ton going on. I mean, we're definitely on just an absolute pile of fish, but you can definitely, definitely tell that for some reason they're a little bit off as they don't want to chase up the graph much they're dropping dead sticks it's just kind of that kind of evening but uh we'll let that guy go see you later decent size quality today i mean we're not, we're not really on like a we could definitely get a big one but we're definitely not on an area where i'd expect to just catch a bunch of really big ones today i mean we'll save that for tomorrow kind of just go big fish hunting but all good eater sized fish this afternoon that we've had and any walleye on a jig, wall, jig rod is a good fish in my book. Oh, she is still cold and windy out there. Still very cold and windy. But I think we're going to wrap it up in the shack. Get out of here at a decent time tonight. I've had almost no sleep in the last 48 hours now. Get back to the hotel room, edit this video, and do it again tomorrow. Today was kind of like the first half day of kind of scouting this lake. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we can kind of, you know, I, the, the midday bite was fine. It was like all of a sudden right at dark, all the marks I mar was marking were not biting. But tomorrow we're going to mix it up, try a whole bunch of different spots. We kind of are in the real part of ice fishing now. Last year, last week was like a practice run. Now we're in the real shakedown where we got the snowmobile out and life's good. So we're going to pack down. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Just a quick little afternoon walleye walleye video appreciate you guys watching this one um, hopefully you guys liked it stay tuned for more make sure you guys check out that walleye now video I posted on how to break down a lot of these big large flats while ice fishing to kind of get around fish like this and uh, as always make sure you guys check out the contour fishing club um, all of me and Shelby's line of ice fishing apparel and walleye themed uh, merchandise so get over there check that out everything's linked down below appreciate you guys watching this video let's get out of here and do it again tomorrow